Hey, it's Mike Brenner. We're back. This seems to be a pretty heavy cybersecurity theme today. And so our fourth guest is Tamara Shoemaker, who's been on the show many, many times. And uh, we all know her as the founder, co-founder of and, and the leader of Cyber Patriot Program, which is aimed at primarily grade school kids, but even old farts like Matt and I so that we can be more cyber safe when we're communicating with our grandkids. Who are, my, my three-year-old grandson was already uh, cyber savvy, uh, much more than I was at one point. So he's now five. He puts me to shame. So anyway, uh, let's talk a little bit about your, your, new, your latest gig. You're the president of Women in Cybersecurity Michigan Chapter. How did that come about, Tamara? So the the WESIS um, uh, affiliate came together. It's taken us years and years and years. So WESIS has been around since 2013. So uh, a, a professor over at Tennessee Tech, Amber, um, um, Amber in, and, and I've met her when I was working again at a different, another association called SISI. And SISI is an association for all of the centers of academic excellence with DHS and NSA. And they have an annual conference. And she presented her new grant and this new program that she put together that was to mentor students coming up and get them into their careers, right? To not just sort of educate them and leave them, um, but to, while you're educating, also have business folks from industry mentoring them. And so we, I, I met her there. Um, she was had a presence at each one of our conferences annually on top of doing her own. And it was just something that um, struck me as we needed in Michigan. So I started talking about some of the, you know, when I worked at the University of Detroit, I talked about getting a student thing involved, but it, we didn't get there. Um, when I worked with the Auto ISAC a couple of years ago, we were talking about having, we got a lot of the women in cyber auto together and they were talking about doing it and we just never kind of got it all together and so this year we finally did get it together um, and got our affiliate together so they don't call them chapters but I, I think of it as like a chapter right so the Michigan it's the whole whole of all of Michigan and this region um, we're in a regional affiliation they have now gone global they are now not just students so it's just it's just a, a, a big difference and I have to give a shout out to uh, MCWT, right? So as we were forming this, I got the women in, you know, the Education Woman of the Year Award. And I can't think that that didn't help a little uh, with my visibility, right? And my ability to be able to, to talk for, for the, the women in Michigan and, and to organize and get this thing off the ground. So I'm pretty excited about it. So tell us a little bit about what Women in Cybersecurity is, what the organization's aims are and, and what it does as a practical matter. Absolutely. So again, like I said, we started out with just doing it as for for our for the students that are in schools, and the student chapters are off the hook, right? There are every they're global, and we want to continue to uh, make sure that we continue to do that. Um, but starting the Michigan one, they have moved beyond just uh, kids that are new into their careers, and have taken it to so that we we want to recruit obviously women in cybersecurity. We want to retain them and while they're in the workforce, and we want to help them to advance. And so when we put ourselves all together um, and there are training and mentorship programs and all kinds of lovely um, uh, resources for, for women, and then we have these local groups. And so it was real important that we had this local group and that we focus more on the adult women in these areas, right? So the student chapters are already alive and well and doing really, really good. And that's the reason for this Michigan affiliate is to make sure that women in our advancing to career, careers and moving through the chain, we also get mentor and we also get the support that we need to get where we needed to go like for instance last week we did a uh the board we got together and we did a um golf etiquette class now i ask you how that relates to cyber well a lot of business and a lot of things are done on the golf course correct sure and so there's an awful lot of women who haven't had the experience that I had. I played golf in high school, so on the team. So I knew some of this stuff. So I'm not uncomfortable with it. But there's plenty of women who have never been involved in any of that and, a plen and plenty of people in cyber that have never been involved in golf. And that helps them to, if they know the etiquette and they know how to be around uh, golfers and that kind of stuff, they can go ahead and say, okay, I'll be one of your foursome. You know, I'll give it a shot. You know, now that I have a little experience behind my belt and know the lingo and the proper protocol, protocol for everything so that they can have those discussions and on, a, on an even keel, right? Huh. Mm. So how does women in cybersecurity relate to your primary passion, uh, Cyber Patriot? 
Well, as you guys know, I'm trying to retire. <laughs> it's luck with it's that. obviously a 12 step program because mm -hmm. I'm not doing so well. Um, and so what, what I am keeping alive, the, so I am doing the, the, you know, the president of, of WESIS and I'm also doing the cyber Patriot stuff. And you would say that maybe, how does that work? But for me, I feel like it's now cradle to grave that I'm working with folks and trying to help them and advocate for them and get more people in the pipeline. Right. Cause I, I mean, you know that Mike, that that's my passion, right? Get more people in the pipeline. Um, I want our critical infrastructure to be protected. I want people who are, who are properly trained, right. That go to schools that know what they're doing, get the training that they need and don't waste money on stuff that that's not going to help them. And so it was just logical to actually work with, the, with with the adults as well as with the kids um and then i can also you know i can use some of those mentors that are women i can use you know over in my school program and i can have you know the the school program can can, can get you know sponsorship from you know so it just seems like it it fit to me i hope it does um in you know in reality but to me it feels like i'm just sort of taking you know the whole the whole stratum and not cutting anybody out of mentoring and and supporting well, yeah, what it sounds like is that you're just able to cast the net a bit wider for uh, Cyber Patriot, right? Correct. That too. A absolutely. A absolutely. But, you know, and you know, I mean, you know how I feel about that, right? Early and often. We we need to, like you said, with your your uh, your grandson is 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 schooling you on some of this stuff, right? You know, I mean, and 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 right away, just starting to work with the WESIS program and working with these students I have, uh, or working with these people, I have folks from all different parts of their career that are on my executive board. And so even that is just, I mean, I'm learning, right? So I'm learning from the youngsters who are much better at some of the social media and some of the other communication skills and those kinds of things. And then I, they can learn from us about some of the, you know, standard business practices that we kind of carry. Right. So I just really feel like it's, you know, all encompassing. Right. All right, Matt, any more questions? Well, uh, tell us a little bit about how cyber Patriot is doing this summer. I know you were, uh, in a bit of a financial pickle a while back. Is that still the case or have you yeah, got it, it is. It's still the case. Um, uh, we, we don't have the support that we needed in order to be able to do the summer camps. And so we had to pull a plug on that. But I'm hopeful we had an awful lot of folks that raised that did help and that, you know, are trying to help us get there. Um, I have a brand new board of advisors. You know, I have this new this new ISIS piece too. So I've got some female folks that are involved as well that I didn't have before. So I'm hoping between all of that kind of stuff that folks will get on the bandwagon and understand that, you know, getting the planting those seeds early is very important. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You I imagine your, your appearance at MCWT probably helped educate a lot of people that weren't aware of what you were doing, right? Absolutely. For sure, and, you know, and then um, you know, uh, as 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 a, a the WESIS representative for Michigan too, we're going to be at Secure World, so we'll have that as well that we'll be able to talk about how this all works, you know, and I, you know, bringing out some of my Cyber Patriot kids that are all grown, and you know, are out there in industry too, I think will be helpful as well because they are doing some great things out there. But, um, you know, hopefully folks will get on the board and understand what it is that we're doing. I can't tell you how many times I was in Saginaw a couple of weeks ago doing uh, a career day um, at, a, at, a, at a airport. And, you know, we had baggage handling, we had mechanics, we had stewardess kind of jobs, we had air traffic control, we had pilots, you know, and we had cyber. Um, and, you know, it, they were astounded that there's a cyber program. <laughs> right. And, you know, in the Saginaw area, they didn't know about it at all. Thankfully, the nice part about it was that the parents that brought these kids and these kids and parents were both because it was a career day. They were very open to the messages, right, of all the different careers. And so it was really nice. And a lot of them worked. The, a lot of the parents worked for the school systems. So I was able to then make that connection. Right. So not only were they just a parent that maybe could talk about this when they go back to the schools, but they actually worked at the schools. And so that, I think that's going to be very helpful to grow of sort of the mid Michigan, right? The middle of Michigan. So I'm excited about that. With the acute shortage of cybersecurity professionals, I don't know how many hundreds of thousands of job openings there are. Um, 400. Is that many? 450,000 jobs open in the United States right now. We can't fill. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, about 13,000 in Michigan. Well, getting back to the the career fair, if you tell them, you know, your child, once they graduate from college, 
can make one hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year starting out, that should get their attention. Uh, you know, they don't pay writers like that, do they? No, they maybe Yellow Flag does, Matt. I'm not sure, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, no, no, no. No, it's, it's, no, absolutely. I mean, when I worked for the auto ISEC, right? So I worked for the auto ISEC for two years, and I spent that two years getting to know all these lovely engineers that worked in cyber, right? And there, and and I watched them just job hop right i mean it'd be like they were with one oem then they were with a tier one then they were with a different oem then they were you know what i mean it was the same people they just kept popping around and of course every time they did that they got a raise mm. <laughs> yes, that would be the reason yeah. you would pop around otherwise why do it right you know so mm -hmm. yeah I mean, and, and with that concentration of uh auto industry security jobs here you don't even have to move you know to, to no, job like no. that no, it's very nice for them, right? So yeah, if you got the right skill set. But again, and that's why I want to work on this. I want the kids to have that skill set and I want these women to have this skill set so that we can go out there. And also the the, the other main piece I got that I that the why I see those two working together is is the synergy, is the inclusion, right? And making sure that we have a diverse population. So not just a population of cyber people, but a diverse one. Bad guys work with all the diverse population right with all kinds of different thought patterns and ways that think people go at stuff different cultures we need to do the same thing so we need to reach them you know and again reach them young <laughs> right and get them in this culture get them to understand hey you need to be you need to be smart you need to you know not mess up and and you know get mixed up with the law or alcohol or drugs or any of those other reasons that would disqualify you from being a cybersecurity person Right. They got to get that message. But and somehow we that's how we can do it. We can do it with our summer camps and we can do it with this competition because they're playing a game. They're competing. They want to win points. They want to beat another team, you know, and so you get them in there with that. And then you, you you actually, you know, show them. And that's the reason we wrote the book. Right. Is to get that underpinning in there so that they actually are learning stuff in the schools that can apply when they go on to higher education. So how do folks reach your two groups you're affiliated with? I stole Matt's thunder there. so Yeah, yeah, you sure did, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, you guys, it's a good thing you all are working together long, a long time. It's like me and my husband finishing each other's sentences and giving each other a hard time when we're on the same stage. Um, so the Weiss is, so it's Weiss. So we, we, we pronounce it, by the way. I don't, I didn't, I don't know if I made that clear, but we do pronounce it Weiss because it stands for We Cyber Sisters. Um, it's not correct with the I there, but we can pronounce it any way we want. Uh, <laughs> um, and so you can just Weiss, so it's W I C Y S dot org. Um, and you can join, uh, the global, the global affiliate or the global uh, membership includes any chapter uh, uh, membership. So if you are already a member of WESIS, you can just go into your profile and click Michigan and suddenly you're you're also a Michigan affiliate. So that's a nice little benefit. And then if you want to help out my Cyber Patriot stuff and get involved in that, as we're going to be trying to look for volunteers to get into the schools, um, both either virtually or in person as the school starts so these kids can be supported, you can go to my um, micyberpatriot.com website and contact me anyway through that as well. And LinkedIn. <laughs>